So we're going to start adding features. Now, witches have two very predominant things. They have big noses and they have pointy chins. And so we are going to give her both. We're going to make her a little haggard. I mean, you can do the the friendly witch, the ugly, mean witch. There's so many variations. All right, so we got her brown, and we're gonna bring a little uh, bone structure in here. You know, one of the things to consider when you're doing a character is how, are they skinny? Are they fat? And that, you know, the skinnier they are, the more pronounced this bone structure around the eyes is going to be. And there'll be, you know, sunken skin um, going from the cheek to the, the jawline. Things like this are all considerations. Now these, you know, you just kind of lay them on organically. I drew some lines in here first to um, guide me a little bit uh, before I started laying on the, the little snakes. And these will be greatly reduced in, um, in the water down phase and the sponging phase of, uh, of our witch here. So it doesn't look good yet, but it will. Here I'm just making sure that the, the clay is stuck down and somewhat blended in, but very, very roughly. That's why the this tool is so nice. It's like a, it's shaped a little bit like a finger, but it, but it's smaller. Certain things happen uh, as the muscles contract and it impacts the skin. And one of those things is this, um, this uh, fold of skin that comes down from the no nose around the mouth will um, will intensify and then the skin that's uh, on your cheeks will poof out somewhat because it's got to go somewhere. Okay, I'm putting an additional fold of skin again in response to the skin's got to go somewhere. Another trick that you can do is to sculpt one side and then try something different on the other side and then if you like that better then you can go back to your original side and and change it if you don't then you just go fix it that way like the other one and that gives you the ability to kind of work things out in clay a little bit and we'll put just a couple of little teeth, like she's got she's got bad dental hygiene here. I'm um, putting some of these little balls around that uh, I mentioned on other sculptures, but this is a, this is a good technique. Get the whole clay wet and a little bit muddy and just start blending in all the bumps and all the rough spots and uh, starts to get more and more realistic. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use the spray bottle to clear the water off faster than I could with the sponge. But if you don't have a spray bottle, you can just wet the sponge and soak up some of the muddy water. Keep cleaning the sponge so that, so that it cleans out the, the clay. pushing some areas harder than others. If I like what it looks like and it's real close, then I'm just pushing enough to blend away some of the roughness and make it look more organic. 
if it's way off like this brow I'll come in and I'll push harder see these little lumps of clay that I've put in now is where I'll I'll push them down until they look good so basically I'm I've I've taken a hair dryer to this and I've dried it out over several minutes so that the clay you can kind of hear it it's, it, it's harder now and uh, this gives me the ability to to sculpt in some of these fine lines and now the wart I saved for last because all the the cleaning and stuff you do or the washing with water and breaking it down would have taken our warts away too much so now that it's hard I can put a wart on and with just a little bit of blending of water we can we can have a nice sharp witchy wart so let's get that wart going now classically witches have a wart on the nose we don't know why this is, we don't know who started it. Then come back with your sponge and just rough it up a little. Because you, you don't want it to look smooth and everything else to be um, have some texture in it. So you gotta, you gotta rough it up a little. Let's take your brush, dip it in clean water and get the excess, whoops I didn't get enough out, get the excess water out and then you can go in and just kind of clean up these lines if they if they've left some clay. I got a chunk of clay in here. Um, you can kind of blend away any of those last little bits of of stuff that is going to make it not look completely professional. So that is our witch, and she's gnarly and nasty and mean and and. Uh, Perhaps even wicked, we don't know. And when we paint her green, she is gonna be awesome.